Okay, we got a real nice cedar here. Really nice cedar. But I might have to wedge it. She's a big one. And the reason I might want to wedge it is because I was going to put it down there, but I figured that's not a very good idea because there's nothing really to hold it up. It gets pretty steep past the stump here. It drops off pretty steep. So I want to throw it up really high and get I shaved the stump down and then I changed my mind and now I want to put it above that stump. So I want to put it right up into here, kind of the stump right there, pretty below that one. So like, and above this one, so like right in here somewhere. So I'll have to angle this one. Um, this one, like there's um, level side hill. So I want to throw it up just a little bit. So it's going to be a bit of a wedger, I think. It does have a slight lean this way. But like I said, I'm not just sort of side hill, I'm throwing it slightly up. So we'll see how it goes. And it looks like a good healthy tree, so it's probably solid. So I'm pretty excited about that. It'll be a lot of good cutting here.
Um, 
Okay, I forgot to mention, um, my last video, when I was using the mic, because when I run the saw with the mic on, the saw sounds different, so it's all messed up. So my plan was to turn the mic off. You have a little wireless mic right here. And then I thought this, the microphone on the camera would, would, would start working. So then when I turn the mic off here, then you can still hear me cutting from the camera, but it didn't work out that way. It was just no sound at all. So every time I'm cutting, there's no sound. And then I'll turn the mic back on, just hold a little button there and the mic turns back on, and then I can talk. So I'm just gonna have to keep the mic on. Yeah. Oh, partner just fell a big tree. It's my biggest one of the day. I, I've probably got three and a half hours of cutting in already. Just, wow. Well, well, my clock's on the uh, camera here, so. But I think we got like two and a half hours left in the day, something like that. Um, yeah, so here it is. I think I might need the jack for this one. I got her nice and straight. Nice and straight. Looking good. Oh, zoom out. Oh my god. There you go. Look at that, eh? Okay. And you can see where I, I cut in right here. And then another cut in over there, vertical cut. So I cut it out in pieces. I'll have to cut this one up before starting a back cut. It's wrapped around that tree, going around it. Yeah, it has a bit of a downhill lean. So I'm probably gonna have to get the jack. It's at the pad. But I'll just get her cut up. Pad's way over there. Uh, I could probably use that as a pusher, but mm, I'll have to think about it. But I'll have to get all this debris. This is like hundreds of years of needles and leaves and little twigs falling down from the tree and other trees, you know, and just accumulating up and then they get and then it rots and then you get plants growing and you get all the roots from the plants piling up against the tree there's no there's no dirt or rock or anything in there it's just rotten wood and and roots and stuff so you can cut it but because i'm on a hill and this is a big boulder field you know it was maybe a few hundred years ago some boulder came rolling down hit this tree and it sunk in there Hit the, you know, stop there, and then you know, 100 years later, 20 years later, a big pile of debris is built up on top of it, and if you go to cut it out, and you can hit it. So sometimes I'll just use an ax on my foot to clear it away. So my cut, back cut's gonna be right down here. Okay, let's get going here. Start the back cut.
Man, that was a lot of cutting and a lot of fun. Yeah, that's a bummer. I didn't go on the highest side of that stump. Yeah, I probably could have aimed it up a little higher cutting this holding wood. I'm gonna split right in two big pieces. Right down the middle. At least I shaved down that stump. Could have made it worse. Oh man, I gotta buck that thing now. Huh. Okay, well, let's get going. I'll top up my saw and we'll start bucking.
Change my length from a 12.5 to 10 1.
Well, it's moving, the cut's moving, the tree, or the log wanted to drop. I think because it split and I didn't want to risk myself getting pinched on the far side, there's a little bit of holding wood on the, um, on the far side on the other piece, I think it's a split right down the middle. So the other piece on the far side there is probably not quite cut up enough. Cause I got this side all cut right up. I think as far as I can reach in the bottom there, it moved, but it hasn't dropped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bucket on the other side of the break up there and then it's all this here should drop and it's a good safe spot to stand just right up there. <clears throat> so that's my new plan.
I'm gonna get ready to jump at a moment's notice. Things start creaking and going. There's shifts on me. Well, nothing moved, of course. When I'm on camera, that's when nothing happens. <laughs> oh man, I was hoping it would drop and roll down. Well, maybe feel up. Make a new low point now. Finish the day off with some smaller trees. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. <sighs> okay, look at that beauty view, eh? Over there. Oh, I can't see nothing at this vantage point up that valley, but. Ah, nice.